Tonight from the heart of Texas, Waco, Texas, the seventh ranked Baylor Lady Bears hosting the Cowgirls of Oklahoma State. Three left side, that one is no good by Natoa. Cowgirls still looking to get on the scoreboard. Drive in by Dee Dee Richards, the bucket and a foul. Well, Lady Bears doing a terrific job early on attacking the glass. Dee Dee number one in the Big 12, fifth in the nation in assists per game. Down low to Egbo, gets inside her defender and banks it in per game at 12.1 rebounds per game. 3.10 to go, first quarter. Three, right side, that one is good by Jamie Asbury. Now well, don't let that surprise you. <laughs> Taylor has spread the wealth here in the first quarter, all five starters with the bucket. Here's a steal and a layup at the other end. Ball used up all the orange paint on the rim that time. Don't know how it did not go in. Jalen Collins the rebound, three straight away. That one is good by Lexi Keys. Timeout. Cowgirls ball, they can tie or take the lead on this possession. Three minutes into the second quarter. Three-pointer is good, and the Cowgirls lead over Baylor, 19 to 18. Trinity Oliver to Moon Urson. Urson, she's not gonna miss two in a row. That layup is good, and Baylor regains the lead. Yeah, and that was the hardest of the three. <laughs> she missed the two easy ones. That was a tough bucket right there. Now an 11-0 run by Baylor over the last three plus minutes. Cowgirls 0 for their last six from the floor. Richards to Carrington. Banker is good. Now that's something she can do. Nice strategy by the Baylor coaching staff posting her up. Into the paint, layup, no. Carrington, four seconds to go before halftime. To Nalissa Smith, layup, good at the buzzer. The Lady Bears convert. The final bucket of the second quarter, Nalissa Smith's layup puts Baylor up by 14. That's the way to convert, way to end the half. Coach, man or woman, to win a national championship as a player, head coach, and assistant coach. There you go, Moon Urson. Very, very consistent on that baseline. She has such a great vertical jump. She can get up and over the defender. And a bucket. Well, what a great break to the bucket by Mack. She just has terrific instincts. That was a good example of it right there. 47-34. 13 point advantage for Baylor. There That's you go, freshman. Yeah, a freshman right in the lineup. She was the preseason freshman of the year. Igbo seven points on the night, two away from 700 for her career. Into the paint, Mack turnaround jumper. That's a good look. I'm shot. telling you, she's very, very talented. There is a fourth quarter. Still no blocks for Oklahoma State, none for Natasha Mack, who leads the nation How about in that, that category. Quick hands by Moon Urson. Wow, eyes <laughs> at the back of her head. She drops it off for Egbo for the lay-in. Yeah, in double figures, the third double figure score for the Lady Bears, joining Carrington and Melissa Smith. Loose ball, collision, no foul. Moon Urson will lay it in for Baylor. Yeah, nice little touch pass by Melissa Smith, making that possible. Fundamentals right there, blocking out perfectly. Ooh, a steal by Andrews, saves it inbounds to Oliver to Bickle. And the layup is good by Caitlin Bickle. Well, these Lady Bear post players all run the floor extremely well. Cowgirls ball, Lexi Keys to Natasha Mack. Keys a three, and it is good from the right wing. Micah Dennis the free throw, and Baylor will dribble out the final seconds of a 70-51 win over the Oklahoma State Cowgirls. Tenth consecutive win for the Lady Bears, and with West Virginia's loss tonight, the Lady Bears' lead grows by a game.